My name is Lyra Doderlein and I'm 19 years old. I was born in a small town in Saratov, Russia with a condition in both my legs called arthrogryposis. I could not walk when I was born for a while and I was immediately put up for adoption. Around the 2002 time frame, it was on my wife Fanny's heart to adopt a child. We visited numerous orphanages and just really touched us. And that, you know, if we could help one child in that predicament, then so be it. What? We had this video sent to us. We saw Lyra. And both my wife and I said, this is the one we want to help. What we saw in Russia, she wasn't able to crawl either. And most of the times, it appears that she was left in the crib. When she came home, we dove in and started physical therapy right away. I had to use orthotics uh, and crutches to get around for most of my life. It didn't really allow me to walk the way I needed to. I kind of struggled with doing sports and normal kid activities like going out and playing with friends. So around the age of 14, after about seven surgeries, my doctor recommended double amputation. The orthopedic surgeon said, Lyra, you're getting older. If we continue down this path, what's going to happen is that you're not gonna be able to get around. Your legs are so brittle. We were really hesitant about it, but I was the first person in our family that kind of thought this could be my future. Uh, and it could be the best possibility for my future. My wife was thinking, oh, maybe. And I was thinking, no way. And then Lyra, to her credit, started doing a lot of research into what this is. The next year, we decided to do it. After her amputation, the first thing she said was, I want to see my legs. She looked at her legs, and she said, that's about what I expected. And so, so when I think about that, that's a very moving moment. She decided this is what she was going to do. She was going to make the best of it. She was going to thrive. And that's exactly what she did. It gave her some sense of freedom, not just the physical, but emotionally. She, she had gotten rid of something that was too much. It took me about three to four months to actually recover fully. But as soon as I could, I got to PT and got fit for my first prosthetics. Pretty soon we'll get you flying the whole board. This other amputee came in. He played sled hockey. I had never heard of sled hockey or even other adaptive sports, but I kind of figured this was my time to try things. I just fell in love with the sport immediately. That's exactly the moment when I realized, oh, this is where I'm meant to be. I started playing hockey on a really big bucket. If you get checked by somebody, it could fall out, creates more injury than it needs to. That's kind of where I realized I needed equipment that could fit me so I could play the game that I wanted. That's where Challenge Athletes stepped in. Vera is receiving from us two thousand oh dollars for goodness. hockey equipment then we have something else very very special oh it's not over yet there's a brand new sled for you here uh, how does that sound uh, awesome. yeah <laughs> Hockey is so gear heavy because you need the sled, you need the sticks, you need the gloves, you need the helmet, you need the pads. It's one of the more expensive sports, but it's also one of the sports we get a lot of grant requests for. Now she had a sled hockey sled that was her very own, that was built to her, and she ended up making the national team. Skating on the ice feels like I'm flying. For the first 14 years of her life, she had no sport. All of a sudden, when she had her legs amputated, this buffet of sports opened up to her. My teammate on the women's CAF hand cycling team, Oksana Masters, she's kind of the one who got me into skiing. And not only did I love the sport, but I had a lot of opportunity to grow in it. Oh my God, yeah. And in 2021, she's at the Paralympics. It just shows you how quickly that can happen and how important 
sport is and how important the right equipment is. You're having fun? Oh yeah, I'm having so much fun. The Challenge Athletes Foundation has probably been one of the most incredible organizations for me. I was a shy kid when I first came in to the world of sled hockey and cycling and other sports, but the Challenge Athletes Foundation has really given me an open door to meet new mentors, meet Paralympians, to become a Paralympian eventually. Ever since she's been part of that community, she's really blossomed into her own person. Greatness is being your best version of you. Way to go, Lyra, great job. And Lyra represents that better than anybody. I know and believe in myself with everything that I do now um, that I can accomplish anything.